Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Words of Malinki. Today we will talk about Chardas rule. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So Chardas rule was discovered by Chardas. He was the chemist in 1940s. He observed that. in a double stranded dna mind it it is double stranded dna so in a double stranded dna adenine always pairs with thymine and vice versa that means thymine always pairs with adenine like this similarly guanine pairs with cytosine and vice versa so cytosine pairs with guanine therefore the amount of adenine the amount of adenine should be equal to the amount of thymine and the amount of guanine is equal to the amount of cytosine so we we'll see it here this is the double stranded dna here you can count it has 13 adenine residues 13 thymine residues 15 guanine residues and 15 cytosine residues that means the amount of a that is 13 is equal to the amount of t that is also 13 and here the amount of g that is 15 is equal to the amount of c that is 15 so this is the first rule okay let's see the second rule here the ratio of purines and you know what are purines adenine and guanine are purines and thymine and cytosine are pyrimidines right okay so the ratio of purines and pyrimidines is equal to 1 that means the ratio means purine divided by pyrimidine is equal to 1 and in purine you will get adenine plus guanine and in pyrimidine you will get thymine plus cytosine so a plus g divided by t plus c is equal to 1 so in this figure we have seen that we had 13 adenine residues 13 thymine residues 15 guanine residues and 15 cytosine residues so a plus g is equal to 13 plus 15 is equal to 28 t plus c is equal to 13 plus 15 is equal to 28 so a plus g divided by t plus c is equal to 28 by 28 that means it is 1 so this is the second rule third rule at base pairs are rarely equal to gc base pairs therefore you can see here that the at base pairs we have seen in the last picture we had 13 and we had 15 gc base pairs that means at base pairs are not is equal to gc base pairs it rarely equals to gc at base pairs rarely equals to gc therefore the ratio of a plus t and g plus c is rarely equal to 1 and it is constant for a species so a plus t you can count it is 13 plus 13 
and g plus c is equal to 15 plus 15. So 26 by 30 you have here that is 0.87. So it is not equal to 1. It can less than 1, it can more than 1, so it is not equal to 1. And it is constant for a species. Next rule. Sugar, nitrogenous base and phosphate are in equimolar proportion. So equimolar proportion, that means it is talking about the concentration. It is talking about the concentration here. So the concentration of sugar, nitrogenous base and phosphate are equal. So this you can understand from this picture. Every nitrogenous base is attached with a sugar and a phosphate. So here we can see eight bases we have, eight sugars we have and eight phosphates we have. Therefore, they are equal in amount, eight, eight, eight. They are equal in amount, hence equal in concentration.